middle third. To prevent uplift, the resultant force must be within the middle third of the base of the retaining wall. The exact locations of the resultant force can be determined from the equivalent vertical load. This figure shows the forces acting on a retaining wall. The resultant force multiply the lever arm will give you overturning moment. The self weight multiply the lever arm will give you resisting moment to overturning. The summations of the resisting moment and the overturning moment will give you total moment data M. And the total vertical load is the summations of the self weight of the entire system. To generate an equivalent data M as per the system here, the vertical load VK will add an a equivalent lever arm. Simply said, this is a simplified version of the forces acting on this system. To check for the middle third, these equations or these equations can be used. Both are referring to the same principles, only that they express differently. Middle third refers to the middle one third portions of the base, and the total vertical load VK has to fall somewhere in between the middle third. This gives us these equations where the x has to be in between one third to two third d. Alternatively, it can be determined based on the eccentricity. The eccentricity referring to the offset distance between the vertical load and the central axis of the base of the retaining wall as expressed in this equation and the eccentricity needs to be less than the 1 per 6 d the 1 per 6 d is referring to 1 per 6 d on the both side of the central axis of the base that means this eccentricity cannot be greater than 1 per 6 of the retaining wall base. The x here can be determined by the total moment divided by vk. And in this case, factor of safety is taken as 1.0.